Want to see the non-junk items I am putting in my three daughters Easter baskets? Keep watching. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Clue, back for another gift ideas video. You guys seem to really like these. I'm sharing what I'm getting my seven year old, my four and a half year old, and my one and a half year old for Easter in 2022. I like to buy things that are not junk. I don't love to just fill it up with Dollar Tree stuff or Target Easter stuff in the Easter section. I want stuff that they'll actually use. So I use this time at Easter to stock up on summer items, to stock up on what I call table activities. So things that they can do that are educational, but fun and different workbooks and things like that that they can do that are fun but also still learning. I like to stock up on those for Easter and just do some very practical items that I was probably going to buy anyway but are still very fun to receive. So that is my philosophy when it comes to Easter baskets and I'm going to show you what I put in their Easter baskets for this year. So I try to really be even across the board when it comes to the types of items but as you will see, my four and a half year old and my seven year old have very similar things, but my one year old, I had to be a little bit more creative because she's one, so she can't have Legos yet, things that her older sisters can have. So I tried to find something that is comparative to those things, but appropriate for a one year old. So let's start with her Easter basket. So here is my one year old's Easter basket. So first up, I did a pair of shoes for at the pool. Since my daughter, this is a one-year-old, she's one and a half, she's not the best at walking yet, um, I wanted to give her actual swim shoes that she can wear when we go to the pool. So if she tries running on the concrete, hopefully she will not fall and she won't slip as easily. And then I will show you all my other girls got similar shoes as well for the pool, but these are really cute. And all of the items that I have links to, I will link below for you guys. All three of my girls are just receiving two types of candy. These little Reese's, individually wrapped mini Reese's, and some mini M&M's. They will definitely get candy from family, so I did not want to go crazy. Every year I like to put a faith building resource of some type in their Easter baskets. We are Christian, which I feel like goes without saying if we're celebrating Easter, but I know today a lot of people celebrate Easter that may not actually believe Christ is the Savior. So we definitely do believe Christ is the Savior. So we want to make sure there's something at least um, faith related in their Easter basket. So I got this beginner Bible for toddlers because I think the actual beginner Bible might be a little too over her head. So I think this just has a few of the stories, not all of them. Um, for a one-year-old, I think this will be a perfect introduction to the Bible for her, and it's a little more durable than the, act, the typical beginner Bible. All three of my girls, as you will see, got some kind of sticker book, so I want to find something that my one-year-old might be able to do at least in the next year. So this one has stickers where you match them to different animals. She's super into animals. There's different scenes with um, the words here, which obviously I'd have to read to her, but she could put stickers and each page has a different set. So this would be something I'd have to probably help her with, but might be fun for like a restaurant or a rainy day, that kind of thing. And a good introduction to using stickers. And then all three of my girls are also getting some kind of activity book. And since my one year old obviously can't do like color by number or match the letter or anything like that yet. She's still very little. I thought this on the farm book and puzzle place that would be fun. Like I said, she's really into animals. So I love that this is a book, but it's an interactive book. So there's places to put the animals. So it's like a book and a puzzle all in one. It's matching and I think it'll be really fun for her and interactive. She really loves interactive books right now. So I thought she would enjoy that. And then in addition to that, since the girls got two activity books, I got her this polka dot. She loves the polka dot books, but this will be a great one for in the car. She's always getting mad in the car because she wants stuff. She wants puzzles or she wants books or things that she just can't have in the car. So I thought this would be perfect because she could play with it over and over in the car. It's very durable and there's animals on it. Might be great for at grocery stores too, just to give her something to manipulate while she has to stay seated. All of my girls are also getting some kind of book set. So I got her this really adorable um, lift the flap. It's all different kinds of babies. So there's babies in the forest, babies on the farm, babies in the snow, babies in the ocean, and you lift the flap and it shows the little baby animals. She loves animals, so this will be great. She will absolutely love these and I like how small they are. She can play with these on her own um, or we can read them with her. And then I always do something water related. So they already have the shoes, but normally I get them a swimsuit for Easter. But now that I've been doing this, this is our seventh time. 
um, my our eighth time, I guess. My seven year old has gotten a swimsuit every year and we hand them all down. So the littler ones have tons of swimsuits. So I didn't really wanna buy another swimsuit for them. I did for our oldest as you'll see, but then I got something swim related for the other two. So we do have like a swim tote that we fill with all kinds of stuff, towels and stuff, but I wanted to get some kind of wet bag to put their wet towels, their wet swimsuits, their wet everything in on our way home so it's not mixed together together with all the dry stuff. So I got this Ariel um, wet bag. This will be for our whole family, but I'm just putting it in her Easter basket. They will all really love this. And then they're all getting one kind of educational but fun toy. And since the big girls are getting um, knockoff Legos, since she can't do Legos and we already have a bazillion Duplos, I thought I would get her this Learning Resources Matching Dinos. She loves matching things. So it's matching by color, and I think this would be a great um, toy, but also to learn through play for her. And I love that it has a container to contain it, so it can all go back in the container. Um, and it's perfect for her age. She just turned 18 months, so this will be a great toy for her. Next up, we have our four and a half year old's Easter basket. So for her faith building book, we have this Wonder of Creation devotion. We have two of these by the same author. They are devotionals that connect faith and religion of Christianity to science, which is really, really cool. They have amazing illustrations, amazing facts, so many things that we like to look more into. And I just love how it's showing that science and God do not have to be separated. There is so much to connect um, and we can see the wonders of God through science. So just a really cool way to learn um, about God, but also learn about science all in one really amazing resource the shoes i got her i don't expect our girls to wear swim shoes at the pool they're very good about swimming and stuff like that and not running but on our way home and to the pool i wanted something waterproof that you know is not their regular sandals so i just got these ten dollar um cat and jack super cute slip-on sandals for at the pool from target i love these they're so fun and then going along with that, the pool related toy or item I got for all three girls, but I'm just putting in her Easter basket are these magical mermaids. Um, it's a three piece set. They are fun to play in the pool. So I just thought those would be a fun addition to our pool bag. The books I got her, I have been wanting to read for quite a while. I've seen so many people on Instagram and different homeschooling moms talk about these Sophie Mouse books. I think there's like 18 in the whole set, but this is the first four. I know she's going to love these, so I just thought I'd buy them instead of getting them at the library. One of her activity books I got at a local toy star store are these Color by Number books. So they're great. It says ages five to nine. She's four and a half, so I think she's right there. So it says what colors to color each number here in the inside cover and then so many different things we just love these for going to restaurants doctor appointments just to have for a rainy day if they get bored to do while i'm making supper so that they're doing something and not bothering me um so i can never get enough of activity books we just love them and then she also got this highlights one i've loved highlights hidden picture books for so very long this is a good beginner one where you have to like find the different picture in here, learn how to draw different things, um, color different shapes to see a bigger picture, connect the dots. Just these are great. You're learning, but it feels like play. And then her sticker book. I've bought a few of these the last few months. My kids love them. They fly through them, but they're so fun. And this is great for her to practice recognizing her letters without even realizing it. So this is the playful pets, um, sticker by letter there's ones by number too but she can make different pictures there are stickers like a page of stickers for each page with different letters so she has to match them and they turn out really really cute and then her educational toy is this lego set it's not actually lego it's a uh, keepley set 344 piece honestly the main reason i got these my girls especially my seven-year-old but my four-year-old is getting more into building with Legos. They love the like really specialty little pieces that you only find in a set. And so I thought, you know, they don't love the actual sets. Once we build them, they rarely actually play with them. So I'm going to give them the option. We can either make this or maybe we'll make it and then just take it apart when they're kind of sick of it and put it with all the rest of our pieces, or we don't even have to make it and they can just add it to our pieces. So I'm going to leave it up to them. 
um, but this is really cute this has a lot of different sets that you can connect which is cute but she loves sweets and so I got her this sweet related one and last up is my seven-year-old so for her cool item like I said I did get her a swimsuit she loves flamingos so that way she has one to two that fit her her other sisters have like three to four that fit them because of me buying every single year so we definitely have enough i think they'll find it okay that they're not all three getting a swimsuit she's getting the bigger kid version of the same sandals that my four-year-old got these are just slip-ons for going to the pool and coming home like i mentioned the faith book i got her are these 90 devotions for kids we've had the meal time version of this from Adventures in Odyssey and this is just a regular devotion so this is a great one for her um it's not a, it's not in color it's a little less to look at but a lot of great values in it that we can apply to our life so I think she'll really enjoy that plus there's some like puzzles in the back which is or in in between the pages which is really really cool as well Another book set that I've heard a lot about online from different teachers and um, homeschooling parents and things like that are these Hello Hedgehog books. They're great for early readers. Um, it says it appeals to pre-K through first graders and so thought they'd be perfect for my seven-year-old who's a first grader. She also is getting a color by number book. This one says it's for ages six and up. Very similar to her sister's. Um, just a little bit more detailed some of the pictures are so I thought it'd be a little bit um, more of a challenge for her and then I don't know if she'll be quite ready for this but when I saw this one I've had a different few different jumbo pads from highlights before but I have I don't think we have this one this one has these logic puzzles I don't know about you guys but we used to do these in math and I would just ask for more and more and more and more I love these where they give clues and you have to figure out like which person did what thing on what day or whatever it is based on the clues. I love these, so I can't wait for my kids to get into them. But it also has a lot of other things like these. Word picture, spot the difference, which animal is largest to smallest. Um, lots of different cool activities in here. I got her a more advanced paint by sticker because she just flies through these because they're pretty easy for her. So this one literally has super detailed ones like it might even be too much but it'll be a good challenge for her since she loves these so I mean yeah this will be really really fun for her and then I got her just a different version of the little set like I got our four-year-old this one's a scent like a perfume shop I just thought she would really like the different pieces like I said she loves those little tiny pieces to add to her buildings that she builds and then they also are each getting one set of Yodo cards. If you don't know what a Yodo is, it is a portable speaker for kids. I have a whole video, a complete guide to the Yodo I just recently uploaded that I will link below for you guys. But I'm trying to add more cards to their collection for every holiday. So I got them each a set of Yodo cards as well. So for my seven-year-old, I got a set of biggest idea cards. So they're these cards about different people who had, who invented different things like the toilet, paper, braille, traffic lights, ice cream makers, and different things like that. I just think she would really be into learning the history of these really unique things. My four-year-old adores the Ladybird audio adventures, and there's a few of the cards that she does not have yet, so I got her a set that has um, the rainforest and on the farm, and then I also got her the set of Winnie the Pooh and the fairy tale hairdresser that just sounded like something she would really enjoy. And then for my one-year-old who doesn't really get into the stories quite yet, but she likes to listen to the music, I got her this set that's called Let's Move, and it has different songs and like workouts and things you can do with your kids that are audio. So we can dance, we can do different exercises to them, but they get us up and moving. So I just thought those would be a fun thing to have, especially in the winter. And then lastly, I am getting them all like a joint gift, and that is this flower press. I do like to throw in some things that are like nature related because we do homeschool and we love to be outside. And as it gets warmer, I want to encourage us to be outside. So something my girls love to do is pick flowers, and I just thought they would love pressing flowers this spring and summer and making some kind of keepsake with them to remember our summer by. So I got this pretty inexpensive flower press that they can use 
um, together to preserve flowers. So that is everything. We are getting our seven, four, and one-year-old daughters for Easter. I would love to know some ideas you guys are planning on giving your kids for Easter. I just, I'm always inspired by you guys as much as I try to inspire you. And I love to add stuff to my list of ideas for the future for my girls as well. What is your Easter philosophy? Do you give similar things every single year? Spill all the details in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Easter season, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.